My journey with Tao Healing Hands began, I didn't really even know what they would, what it would do. Um, I actually asked different people, you know, is it worth it? Should I do it? Should I not? Is it going to change anything? And it's been a journey of clearing layers and layers in different aspects of my life. And today I use it as an everyday tool, like a shower. I turn it on before breakfast. I offer a blessing for my food, for the nourishment of my cells. I turn on my Tao hands when I'm at the gym so that I could prevent any injury if I'm running on the treadmill. I literally use it for absolutely almost every activity that I engage in. So I could bring in the Tao source light and it could transmute any blockages in relationship between me, my soul and what I'm doing or between me and the souls of the spaces where I frequent. And that's how I've integrated it personally. Um, I have one, one physical example. I offered a blessing to a client for a pain in his hand. He is a constant driver. Like he drives 10, 15 hours, five times a week. And he had a, like a chronic pain in his hand. So I offered him a blessing. I take myself out of it. Like I'm, it's not me healing his hand. Um, it's me getting out of the way and allowing Tao healing hands to do the magic or the work that it does. And I forgot about it. We left, we ended the session and about a couple of weeks ago, he shot me a text and said, Hey, my hand stopped hurting completely. And I was like, wow, those are the moments that you really, you, you I enter in shock and, and how immediate healing can happen for some people and how little do I really know um, the, uh, on what's really happening. Um, personally, in my personal life, in all aspects, I have seen a change in my response or my reactivity, in my level of neutrality or positivity, because I used to be someone who was very reactive or very um, aggressive um, responses towards something that was uncomfortable. And I'm able to mediate myself and my emotions much better, especially when I turn on my Dow hands. Um, and I took my initial certification with um, the traditional way, which was like a whole weekend. So I didn't know really much what was going on. And when I took next level Dow, I was able to really understand like, each level one by one the self-healing the healing others and then further on you could offer blessings to your finances to your bank accounts it's like it's endless creativity on how you could utilize the Tao source and how transformative it actually ends up being so that's pretty much where i am right now um it's not i don't want to romant romanticize it too much because when you heal you actually like bring stuff up and you purify. So it gets challenging. Like I've gotten physically ill and I've had a community of other Tao Han healers support me through their blessings. And that's been amazing. And I've recuperated and this is just a continuous journey of like transforming, but it's something that I am so grateful that I have and that I'm blessed to even come that, that, this opportunity to be in resonance with such power, like of, of the Tao source, like this is, it's, I'm, I'm just speechless and blessed. Okay. Great, Marcella. For those people who are new to Tao Healing Hands, what, what was that turning point for you when you said, yes, I'm gonna do this? Um, I think that it started with a curiosity and a intuition of I need to transform like I was eager to transform what I was going through and what I when I would hear other people share their stories I'm like okay so if it's working for them in that way I could it could ha it has to work for me in some way and that's how it started it started with a curiosity